Okay, hello there. My name is Ardi, and we are going to solve problem 3.3 from Sadiku book. So here is the question: Find the currents I1 through I4 and the voltage V0 in the circuit of figure 3.52. So that we have the figure here, and we are asked to find this V0. So let's do. Let's mark the note there, and then I1, I2, I3, and I4, and this is our ground. So in the ground, the voltage will be zero. So let's write that the voltage in the ground will be zero, and because we are already given the direction of the current, let's just use that, and we will use KCL at not V zero, right? Okay, so what does KCL said? KCL said that the sum of the currents that going in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. So I'll have a uh, sigma i in, and then it's equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, and I can only see one current that goes in, which is from this eight ampere. So let's just write eight here. And all the other currents is going out. So this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So let's write all the current that goes out. So I'll have I one plus I two plus I three plus twenty, and then plus I four. Right. So now what can we do here? Okay. Now we need to find out I1, I2, I3, and I4, uh, and by using Ohm's law we can we can expand this with the term of V0, right? Okay, let's write 8 on the left hand side, and then I1. Okay, let's see I1 here. This node is V0 because this all of this is one node, and then the other node is zero. So let's just write that so i will have v0 minus zero the difference between two voltage and then the resistance between them so i have divide this by 10. Okay, this is for i1 so let's move on to the next one which is i2 and i2 is v0 minus zero divided by 20 and then for I3, I will have V0 minus 0 divided by the resistance between them, which is 30, and then plus 20, and then one more, plus I4. Okay, I ran out of space. Maybe I should move this, all of this, a bit left. Yeah, here, maybe. Okay, so I will have I4 here, and I4 is just V0 minus 0 divided by 60. Okay, what can we do from here? Maybe I should move this 20 to the left hand side, so I will have minus 12. And then V0 minus 0 will be V0. So let's just replace all the V0 minus 0. V0. So let's do this. So I will have V0 over 20. And then for this one, I will have plus V0 over 60. Okay, now what can we do here? You can just make it a common denominator or you can just multiply both sides by 60. Okay, if I multiply both sides by 60, on the left hand side, I will have minus 720 and then 6V0 and then plus 3V0 and then plus this one will be V0. Okay, on the left hand side, I still have minus 720 
and on the right hand side this will be 9 9 plus 1 will be 10 v0 10 v0 and so I will have v0 is equal to minus 72 4 okay this is great because this is one of the variables that were asked in the question and what's next we need to find out i1 i2 i3 and i4 we know from this one we get all we can get all the value of i1 i2 i3 and i4 from v0 okay let's do that maybe i will use different color so i1 i1 will be this term right so i will have v0 over 10 v0 over 10 which is minus 72 divided by 10 which is minus 7.2 and for i2 i2 is just v0 divided by 20 and that means that will be minus 72 divided by 20 and that makes this minus 3.6 ampere right and then for i3 i will have v0 divided by 30 and that will be what what is minus 72 divided by 30 i think that will be minus 2.4 ampere and then the last one will be i4 and that can easily calculated by v0 divided by 60 and what is that i think that will be minus 1.2 ampere okay i think that's all okay and maybe you are wondering what is the negative sign means the negative sign means that the actual current is flowing up but we are assuming that it goes down so that will give us the negative sign and for the voltage it means that this is minus 72 this v0 is lower potential than this ground so that is the meaning of the negative sign and hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation let me know in the comment if i did and bye bye